All right, so this morning, tens of thousands of port workers across the eastern U.S. entered day three of a nationwide strike. Standing on the picket line means that your products could actually be delayed. Yeah, people living in Memphis right now are worried that this will be just like the pandemic, where basic items were bought in bulk and then left a short supply for the rest of us. Stefan Reels is joining us live in studio with a closer look at this. Hey, Stefan. Hey, Yvonne. Now, this is a look at a couple of stores in Memphis. And despite having a tissue plant here in Memphis that makes toilet paper for places like Walgreens and Walmart. You can see right here, these shelves are empty. But experts told us stocking up is not a necessity right now. There are still plenty of supplies to last a while. Across Memphis, people have bought toilet paper and other products in fear of an upcoming shortage. But it is premature. Several major retailers already have a plan in place, and people likely won't see a shortage in paper products since most come from the U.S. Some people told us they worry what the long-lasting effects from this panic buying will be. It's going to really mess up the economy. People are going to do what they're doing and try and stock up, and prices are going to go up, and we're going to get forced to pay those prices in the long run. Now, according to the National Library of Medicine, there are things you can do to help cut down on your panic buying habits. Number one, limit how much you actually talk about how hard these essential goods are to come by and focus on buying what is actually essential. And remember, because toilet paper is not shipped in to the U.S. and is instead made in the U.S., those shelves will likely not stay empty for very long. Back to you.